Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. So today in this video, we'll learn how to utilize the data which we have retrieved from a third party with the help of cascading dropdowns. Okay. So this video is just the continuation of my previous video. Before we dive into this, let us understand what a cascading dropdown is. Okay. So in a cascading dropdown, the options available in one dropdown completely depend on the selection made in the previous drop down okay so for example consider a scenario where you have two drop downs one for selecting a country and another for selecting a city so the city drop down would change the options based on the country selected all right so now without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so to implement this cascading drop down let us create an interface and how do we do that go to new Select the type of object you want to create from the designer menu. We need an interface and it's a standard practice to name your interface using Pascal casing. Okay. I'll name it as cascading drop down. Provide the description to have a better understanding of this object. So now let's drag and drop the components as per the requirements. So I will be going ahead with three drop downs. For country state and city okay so let's drag and drop a column layout and then i'll just put it inside one of the columns layout okay and there we go with another drop down and here comes a third drop down cool now it's time to switch to expression mode to tailor this okay so i'm already sending request to third party to retrieve the country data okay for which i have already created an integration so we'll just call my integration in here okay let's declare a local variable for country data pool is country data so this is the integration which is retrieving the data from external system okay we can ignore this id by passing null value to this because i used this just to show you guys how filtering works when retrieving the data from external system okay now it's time to retrieve this state data for which i already have a table in place and have created an expression rule which is hitting the same table all right when we are fetching the states we would want the states to be fetched based on the country id right so here i have this country id for filtering the state data based on the country id for now i'll just pass it as null okay we will come back to this later once we save the value of our drop downs in a variable okay next comes city for which i have the expression rule ready with me in case you don't know how to fetch the data of a table from database do let me know below in the comment section so that i can make a video on that here i would want the city data to be fetched based on the state id selected so here i have this state id which helps in filtering the data based on the state id okay state id will pass null for this as well for the time being okay now so this drop down is gonna be for country this is gonna be for state and this is gonna be for city okay so for this country drop down let's label it as country and in choice label i just have to pass the country name okay so here i have this country data and the attribute which i am interested in is this result result then the body okay and then the data as you can see there is a hierarchy and to access a right attribute we will be using dot notation first result body and then data let's test this okay so now i have the country data okay this is what we wanted right so here in choice labels i can just use this index of local country when working with data sets we need to locate certain values in a list and we will be achieving that using index function and in choice value we would like to store the id of that country okay so that i can filter the next drop down based on the country id selected right so i'll just copy this index comma is missing here and paste the same over here but we'll just replace this country name with country id 
okay country id cool now let's test this again to see what all options we can see in this country drop down okay so we have all these countries we have three countries now where are we going to store the value of this drop down let's declare another local variable for that local country id cool now i will be saving the value of this drop down in local country id using this save into parameter and we'll also need to show the selected value right let's say i have selected my country as india once i select this the country id will be saved in this local variable but i won't be able to see the value because i haven't passed anything in my value parameter okay so we will be passing the same variable which we are using to store the value in value parameter okay now if i try to test this again and select my country as mexico i can see the value which we have selected and the value is also getting saved okay so that's the use of value parameter if i don't use this let's comment this for now okay i won't be able to see the value selected but but still my value will get stored but again that makes no sense right so that's the main use of value parameter okay so we have configured this country drop down now we are storing the value of country in this local country id variable okay so now i have the value of this drop down i can pass the value of this local variable to this so that it filters the state data based on the country id selected right local country id so now what is this going to do it is going to filter the state data based on the country id selected okay let's configure the second drop down which is for states let's name it as state okay in choice label i would want to show the state names right so this is the rule which is hitting that table state table and here i can see the data okay this is the main attribute which i am interested in so i'll just use dot data to get the data of this attribute okay let's test this again yeah now i can see the state names and the ids so i'll just index it again like how i've done in country drop down to access the right element and in choice value i would like to store the id state id right so we'll just copy this again paste it over here i want state id i would also want to store the value of this drop down right so we'll declare another local variable for this state id and we'll just pass this to the save into parameter okay local state id and value let's test this again india okay i have selected my country as india let's see what all state i can see i can see uttar pradesh and karnataka if i just switch to mexico will the option get updated in state drop down yes they are getting updated so it's working as expected okay now let's configure city drop down likewise okay so here is this rule which is hitting the city table to get the cities based on the state id but we haven't passed anything to this state id right we need to pass the state id which we are storing in this local variable once the user makes a selection okay let's select california yeah see the state id has been stored right so we will be passing the same state id to this to filter my city data so that it only brings the cities which are related to the selected state i am only interested in data attribute okay in choice labels i will be showing the city name right again indexing the city variable to get the right element and i would again like to store the id of city okay city id now i need to declare another local variable to store the city id right local city id 
and will be passing the same in save into parameter to store the value of city id now let's test this to see if it is working or not okay let's select our country as india and in state let's select karnataka and in city okay we forgot to change the label of this drop down we'll do that in a while okay in in city drop down i can see mysore and bangalore which is correct if i just change this to uttar pradesh okay now i can see noida and lucknow okay and if i just make it null will i be able to see any option in city drop down yes that's not how it should work okay if this is null this should also be null there shouldn't be any option available in the city drop down until and unless the previous drop down is filled okay let's do that so it should not be hitting this table until and unless i have state id with me okay so if if using if we will be handling this okay if a bank is null or empty if it is null or empty then do nothing no need to hit the table else it hit the table and filter the data based on the state id okay and same thing we will be doing with states okay using if condition if a bank is null or empty if country is not selected then no need to hit the table right no need to fetch the data of states if it is not null then filter the data based on the country id cool and for this country drop down it's not dependent on any drop down right it's a parent one like in short we can say it's an independent drop down okay so now let's test this again now let's not select any country and see if there is any option in a state or city drop down let's first name a drop down okay city okay i am not going to select any country but i am still able to see the states why so but i can't see any city let's dig into the code okay here i am checking if local country is null or empty i should rather check if local country id is null or empty because we are storing the value of this drop down in local country id right my bad let's test this again i am not going to select any country again i cannot see any option in this state drop down neither can i see in city drop down okay let's select country as india okay and see if there is any option available in state or city drop down in a state we have the options available because the country id is not null right we have the country selected and that's why we are able to see the options in state drop down if i just make it null the state drop down would also become null see right now let's again select our country as india and in state i can see the options but in city i cannot see because the state is not yet selected as soon as i select a state i would be able to see the options in city drop down see and if i make it null my city drop down would also become null right now let's select a state as uttar pradesh and in city i can see these two cities let's go with lucknow okay now you can see we have country id selected as one state id as one and city id as two let's just switch to karnataka and see if it is working or not so what i am expecting i am just expecting this to become null okay as soon as i switch any other state okay oops there is an error so it says all selected value must be present in the choice value but value was 2 and choice value was 3 and 4 so whenever you use a interex with this drop down state drop down or country drop down okay so the value of the next drop down should become null right in here in save into parameter for state we will be using another a bank save to make the value of city drop down null okay local city id this is the variable where we are storing the city id okay let's make it null whenever user interacts with this drop down okay and the same goes for the country 
okay whenever user interacts with this make the value of these two variables state id and city id null okay in save into parameter here i will be using a ban save local state id okay and city id right null cool now let's test this again to see if it is working or not let's select a country as india state as uttar pradesh and city as lucknow okay now if i switch to karnataka as my state will the data in city drop down become null or not let's see that okay karnataka here it has become null which is working as expected and it has filtered the data based on the state selected now if i switch back to uttar pradesh it has filtered the data again based on the state id okay now let's select noida as my city and if i just change the country to mexico the value of these two drop downs have become null which is correct here i can see the states based on the country id and here i cannot see the city because the state is not yet selected cool it's working and it's an interview question so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye